I don't know, man. Think this, guys. If it wasn't for a certain turn of events in history, all Catholics and Christians would have been Jewish. Why? Because Jesus used to be Jewish, man. You know, but then he got kicked out for doing all those miracles for free. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I mean the Jewish community wasn't having it. They were like, um, JC, can we talk to you, bro? You know, that's not the way to run a business, man, you know? Why do you think we all call you prophet? You know? You know, it's funny, man, I, I've had a, I had a Jewish guy get mad at me over that joke, which I was like, whoa, man, that's a funny joke, bro. You know, not all stereotypes are bad, right? Having a stereotype, if your stereotype is that you have a lot of dough, well, it's, not, it's not a bad one, right? It's like when they, they go around saying black guys have big dicks. You know what I mean? <laughs> right? That's, that's not a bad stereotype. If your stereotype is that your culture, you have a big dick. You know what I mean? That's not a bad one. You know, that's like getting mad, like, man, all black guys have big dicks. What the fuck you said? <laughs> That's insulting, motherfucker. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? He said we have big dicks. No, nah, fuck that. Take it back. <laughs> and Latinos, I'm gonna tell you something. I love my people, but you're the worst, man. You are fucking worse. Latinos are the only ones that'll get like a tattoo of the Virgin Mary on their chest. <laughs> Right? And then underneath it'll say, I'll kill you, puto. <laughs> and by the way, for the Latinos in here that are Catholic, Latino, Mexican, Americans, we're not like real Catholics, all right? We're not real, like, like the Vatican Catholics. We're, we're very mixed. And for the white people and black people in the room, I'm gonna share something about Latinos that you don't know about us, and right now you're gonna go, what the fuck? <laughs> And Mexicans right now are going like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right, Latinos, Latinos believe that if you're, like, if, if you're possessed, right, or if you're having bad luck, or if shit's going wrong with you, I mean, you know, you got the devil, you know what I mean? And we can get rid of the devil with an egg, man. <laughs> we believe we can get rid of the devil with an egg. We, you know, we, we get an egg and we go like this, like, like <laughs> Right? And, and then the devil goes, oh, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Man, I didn't know he was gonna have eggs. <laughs> Think about that shit, right? The, the devil ain't afraid of shit. He's not even afraid of God, right? But, but don't bring eggs. <laughs> when I was a kid, man, I was raised Catholic. I was raised hardcore Catholic, you know? Well, not real hardcore. I never got banged by a priest or anything, you know? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I was never that close to the church. <laughs> I don't know, man, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, my mother had a picture of Jesus in every single room in the house. Man, you know, fuck, I thought he was my uncle. <laughs> every picture of Jesus we had, he was depressed. We didn't have one happy picture. Every picture of Jesus, right, he's like this. Right? <laughs> Right? My mom would tell me, Mijo, just look at Jesus for hope. And Jesus always looked like there's no hope. I'm like, can I do it? You need help. Look at me. You know, I bet even Jesus thinks to himself, man, I had some happy moments. Where are those pictures? You know, how come nobody has pictures of me walking on water? Hey, what's up? these depressed pictures of Jesus, you know who drew them? It was the artists of their time, man. It was the stoners, man, from their time. You know what I mean? That's who drew him, you know? He wasn't depressed, he was a leader. It says over and over, right, in the Bible that he was a motivator, right? And they didn't have speakers back then, you know what I mean? You can't move people being depressed. You can't go, um, everybody, you want to go with me? <laughs> Things are going to get better. <laughs> right? It's just that he was a regular dude, right? I think he said regular stuff. He was probably, hey, everybody, man, let's go, man. Let's go with me, man. Fuck it. <laughs> hey, if they kill me, I'll come back. Come on. <laughs> I think, 
when you're an adult, as you're an adult, because everybody's religion was picked for you, all right? It wasn't like, you know, this, this uh, higher power manifested himself in front of you and said, oh, I'm Buddha, you should be Buddha. And you were like, oh, thank you, Buddha, all right? Nobody, right? Or Hinduism, right? Judaism, Catholic, everything's like, your parents told you, this is what we are. And you're like, yes, yeah, I want to be with you, mommy and daddy. <laughs> Oh, no, when, I was, when I was a kid, man, I used to be afraid of the dark, right? So my mom has this bright idea of putting a three-foot crucifix over my bed so I wouldn't get scared. <laughs> it was a giant one, man, a giant ceramic one from Tijuana, you know what I mean? <laughs> right? You know, like, so I wouldn't, I'm, I'm laying down, like, waiting for the blood to drip on me, like, oh, shit. <laughs> right? And then she plugs it in and the head moves, right? Oh, yeah, I'm not scared now, Mom. <laughs> and a little Scooby-Doo nightlight would have done the job, Mom. <laughs> you know, there's, there's things that I dig about religion, man. You know, be a better person and all that. I, I dig that, you know. But there's, I don't know, there's things about religion that trip me out, you know. Like, you know, you go to hell for, for jerking off, you know. <laughs> That's a rough one. I hate to be in hell for jerking. <laughs> You know what I mean? You're in there with murderers and killers and all you did was jerk. <laughs> you know, they come up to you, why are you in here? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I choked the life out of something. <laughs> and you know, it's funny, but I look at faces in the audience and there's people who get uptight when you talk about it, like jerking off or playing with yourself, you know, or just, they're like, oh my God, that's so dirty. <laughs> That's why, man, I think, I don't know, I have two teenagers. I have a 16 to 14, man, and, and it, it, hey, I, I'm open about things. I tell them, you know, and when they take showers and they're in there for two hours, <laughs> I know what they're doing, man. You know what I mean? They come out and they look like a newborn calf when they come out, you know? <laughs> right, I'm, I'm, I'm proud, I'm like, all right, man, get that. You know, way to tear it up, bro, you know? <laughs> I don't know, everybody, man. I think if you don't touch yourself, you're not a happy person. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's no way to take a shower without getting a boner. You know what I mean? <laughs> Unless, I mean, I mean who, who pats their dick? <laughs> you know, who gets a, to a towel and just pats it like this? <laughs> who does that? Who got their dick and go, I'm gonna clean it like this? No, you grab it, you fucking go like this. <laughs> And then it just hits you. Well, well, since I'm in here, it is a shower. You know what? Women, play with yourselves, all right? Please play with. And ladies, if you don't play with yourself, ladies, you're that bitchy coworker, man. You're that fucking bitter bitch from work. You know, you're the one that everybody talks about, like, fuck, oh, man, she's got to get laid, you know? Now, you're that one that gets mad for no reason. Where's the stapler? <laughs> Who took the stapler? I left the stapler right here. Where's the stapler? You know, you know what that is? That's all those juices. They're all clogged up, man. <laughs> They're all backed up. They don't know where the fuck to go. So you're like, where's the stapler? <laughs> you know, fucking, rrr, fucking, I don't fucking keep it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> My. My 14-year-old, I caught that, I caught that little fucker uh, taking out porn on the internet, right? <laughs> right, because I, I get home one day, right? I, I was supposed to be on the road, but I got home early, and he was home, and then he's all quiet. He's just, you know what I mean, when they're just too quiet, like, what the fuck's up? <laughs> so I go over and touch the computer, and it's fucking smoking hot. <laughs> you know what I mean, like, what the hell? And then I, and I, I, all I did was turn it on, fucking, there it was, fucking. Chick on chick. I was like, oh, fuck, man. You know, and, and then there, 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 you gotta be a hypocrite. Like, like man, the fuck is this? <laughs> you know, youngsters today have it easy, man. They wanna see chicks, man. They just, they just get on the computer, look at chicks. For you older guys right here, you know who you are, man. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta use imagination. I'm in my 40s, we have Playboy magazines. We have fucking magazines. We look at a magazine, we wanted a chick, 
she, she was just, it was just a picture of a naked chick like this. <laughs> and we like try to make her move with our eyes, like, fucking move! <laughs> move, say something, fucking. <laughs> right, if you wanted that chick to move, you had to be ambidextrous, right? You had to move, move, turn the page really quick and jerk off at the same time. 